हेलो एवरीवन इस वीडियो में हम देखेंगे कॉलिसमी एंड इट्स फिजियोथेरापी मैनेजमेंट दिस ऑपरेशन इज परफॉर्म फॉलोइंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्टोन्स इन द गोल ब्लेडर एंड सिस्टिक डक्ट द स्टोन कोज अटैक ऑफ कॉलिक एंड जूस एंड मे ऑब्स्ट्रक द बायल डक्ट फर्स्ट सर्जन में ट्रीट द कंडीशन कंजर्वेटिवली अंटिल द इन्फ्लामेशन सबसाइड एंड देन ऑपरेट द सर्जन में यूज कोचर्स इंसिजन ए राइट पैरामीडियन और मिड लाइन इंसिजन फॉलोइंग रिमूवल ऑफ द गोल ब्लेडर एटी tube is inserted and left for approximately 48 hours or longer if necessary to allow drainage of any bile or blood into a bag the amount of bile is measured to know whether any leakage is occurring complications pulmonary complication hemorrhage leakage of bile physiotherapy is mainly to prevent complication patient may be taught breathing exercise and how to cough effectively there is number of factors that increases chest problem after surgery the actual surgical procedure is close to diaphragm so it may cause irritation and increases mucus secretion in the lungs post operatively deep breathing may be painful because of position of the incision and the presence of drainage tube initially patient may have ryles tube which will make coughing difficult atelectasis is most likely to occur in lower lobe of right lung because of position of gall bladder on the right side of upper part of the abdominal cavity analgesic is given for pain relief so that physiotherapy is more effective more use of analgesic can depress the cough reflex leg exercise to prevent any circ- circulatory problems breathing exercise pre and post operatively physiotherapist must appreciate that he will be able to undertake normal activities both physically and socially after he has recovered